Would you like to learn how to make a sweet little decorated box out of something you were going to recycle? Well, come on in. Hello, welcome to Senior Susie Stamps. This is Julia Laird, and I have been taken over by Valentine's cards. I usually send them out in a little decorated box, and I need to make some. So I thought I might show you today how I do that, and uh, <clears throat> maybe you might like to make some too. I start with, well, really any kind of box. This one uh, started out as a Kleenex box. These uh, cards I give for donation to various um, places, and um, I like to give them in something some kind of container that I don't need back, and uh, I think this is a really good way to reuse uh, some of this packaging material. This happens to be a uh, stovetop stuffing box, and I just cut it, I opened it up flat, and I just cut it right down the middle. So come on over and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, now remember, this is not supposed to be uh, anything but just a little transport box for some cards to go to the nursing home as a donation. And with that in mind, I think the finishing of the box is a little more probably temporary than if you were covering um, a box to keep and, and you know, use out of um, a lot um, for several months or whatever. So you can see now, and what I did was to open it up all the way and then I folded it in half like this, and I put it on my heavy duty paper cutter and cut this edge so this edge is good and straight. So let's work off of one of these. And the first thing I wanna do is to notice that it, this is way longer than 12 inches, uh, so I'm gonna to have to splice some paper together. And I'm gonna do it right here at this seam so there won't be any problem. But now on this side here, the widest point is just shy of six inches. So I'll need something at least six inches. And if I wanna wrap just a little bit to come over the top, then I'll need six and a half inches. I have some paper here um, that is from uh, Paper Wishes. It's called Spice Market. And I thought it was really, really pretty. And I'm hoping that I can find two pieces in my scrap bin. Well, this is not really scraps, but it's the first cut off. I cut them in half and see if there's something that I can use here. So let me rifle through here and I'll come back and uh, we'll get started on this. So I have one piece here that is six and a half, so that will do. And I want to see if there's another sheet of that in here. Oh, there it is. Well, good deal. I'm going to cut this piece off at six and a half. I'm going to do that right quick. And then it shouldn't be very hard to get finished right. I'm going to use a glue stick to do this. And this is what I'm going to use. I got it from Amazon. It's photo glue stick. Um, the reason I like it is because it's got a big top on it. And I'm sure it'll take quite a bit. But that's all right. I've got two or three of them. <laughs> Glue sticks are kind of fun to use on this kind of a project because they're easy. And you might have to do a little extra wet glue uh, spot here and there. But this stuff is really sticky. And um, I might should have just done half of it at one time, but let's just see. 
what we get here. All I did was to pull the box apart and leave its original structure there. So we should just be able to glue this paper on and cut back to the original structure and then uh, move on. So now I'm going to set this on one of the half inch lines somewhere like right there and then I'm going to set this piece on the next half inch line and that will give me that half inch wrap to go over the top. Now I am putting it just past that uh, fold line so that the other side can come in on the other fold line and it's going to come right up in here right like that. Now the fold should be right here on this line right here. So I'm going to take this paper over here and I'll fold it back here in a minute and uh, put some glue up underneath that. But I want to get it on this sticky paper before the glue stick dries. Now I'm going to use my Speedball Baron to push that onto the box. Now the only thing that should be loose is this little piece right here and I'm going to get some from my card over there and peel this back a little bit and stick it right here on the edge and as I said this doesn't have to stay together for eternity it just has to be something that I can decorate there and send some cards out let's trim that off people like to have these little boxes and they're not hard to make at all There. Now, all we're going to do is trim around here, and we're going to take this piece and fold it right over the top. And then I'm going to glue this strip here. So let me get started with that. Okay, now I've got that trimmed down close enough. And what I want to do is go through and kind of feel around and make sure that my, here's a little piece that's loose right here. And I'm just going to take some wet glue and put on that. It won't be any problem at all. Take that little piece off the underneath there. There. And that'll seal up just fine. I'm going to put some double stick tape here because this is where the original um, tape or well I guess it was glue that held the box together and I'm going to put some across the top here so that we can fold it over so let me get that started I have my glue and my refills and my um, tape runner refills and my heavy duty tape like this on my cart that's back behind me that kind of keeps my desk cleared off just a little bit it looks like we're going to have to trim just a little bit and that's fine let me start this one here get all that in place now I'm going to take this and Kind of start folding it up just a little bit. See how that works. Now get my bone folder. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish this down before I start pulling that tape because. I want it to go on there nice and smooth. 
and look a little finished around the top that way. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. So I'll go ahead and start a little corner on this here. And then we can push that down. Well, and start peeling it back. There. I'm going to work from this edge that I started. And there we go. My grandmother used to make covered boxes and she covered them with fabric. I had one over years when I was a kid. I kept all of my life's treasures in there. Now you can see there's some tape. I mean, there's some old glue here. So I'm just gonna put some right back there. We're gonna put a bottom on this. So now I'm going to start bending this up. Stretch that paper just a little bit. You don't want to just fold it over. Some paper will crack. And you certainly don't want that. I'll trim just a little bit more off of this. There. Okay. So now I believe the way this box goes back together is this flap obviously is going to be the last one on. The last flap standing. <laughs> there. So now it's time to get a little tape on this one. And uh, then we'll just fold it over and put it together right quick. Well, I didn't need that there on that side, did I? It'll be all right. It was this one over here I needed. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do this. And this is where you just wish you had a third hand. There we are. Now I'm going to pull this to start it. here will come off. And you kind of want to square your box up before you push this down so it's not warper jawed a little bit. Hands to do that. Now, come in here and push down. That would have been nicer if I'd had my brain on and I hadn't put that tape right there. But that's all right. I cut a little piece of designer paper to go over where I had mistakenly put that uh, tape down in there. And we'll see it's cut it a half inch so that should just cover that sequin just fine. There. Now it won't stick to anything. And I can trim it off. Just real easy. And it won't be noticeable to anybody but us. <laughs> I think I might make a little uh, bottom. I keep all manner of scrap things, chipboard and acetate and what have you. And uh, I think this box might need just a little extra structure on the bottom. So I'm going to make just a little small covered bottom for that. Now I have a straight edge here on my blue mat. 
so let's see this is going to be three and three quarters by five and one quarter and using your mat or your grid paper on something like this is uh, really handy now finger blade will cut this may take two or three times but uh, that's okay It's always got to be show off in there. <laughs> there we are. Now, I've got this piece right here that wasn't quite wide enough for the other side of the box. It'll work just fine for this, I think. We'll have to turn it this way, and that's okay. So I'm going to get my glue stick. These glue sticks are really, really sticky. I mean, really sticky. Some glue sticks are not worth fooling with. But this particular one, it's the bomb now. <laughs> there. I'll flip my paper over. I want the black side. Give it a good rub. These speedball bearings, I've used one for years. It has a Teflon coating which makes it smooth and easy to rub on stuff. You can get them in the art supply store. I got mine from Amazon, of course. I get most nearly everything from Amazon. We live out in the country and 45 miles from everything, including the grocery store. It's pretty crazy. Now, you all probably have seen this step done a hundred times, but you just kind of cut out for the corner to turn over. Let's see. I don't think there's going to be any stress on this. So I think I'm going to use glue stick with that too. This is a nice heavyweight chipboard. So it'll give that little box some structure on the bottom. I'm going to use my bone folder. There we go. I was curious to know if you all cover boxes, and if you do, what you use them for. <laughs> Wish you'd leave me a comment and let me know. I love to share things. So, okay, here we are. Just going to roll that right on over. I have to drop a little glue up under some of that, but it's going to be fine. There. good now where did my glue ball go we're just going to stick a little bit up underneath here on these corners now of course i've lost my measurement it's five it's a little more than five and a quarter now and just a little bit more than three it's right at three and three quarters so i'm going to cut this piece i'll be right back I'm going to stick a little bead of glue just, to, whoops, just around the edge on this. And go back in with my glue stick and glue this bad boy up. <laughs> and the combination will 
finish that out just fine. Come here. get our little box back. I'm going to squirt just a little glue up in there because it needs to tighten up some. I've probably got the camera too close for you all to see this. But maybe not. Okay. We'll hold that and let it dry. There. Now this is not going to take a lot of pressure, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue glue this on with our glitter glue. There. Just a little. There should be a little edge, a little lip around this. Gives it just a little finished look, I think. See, it's got just a little border around there. And the box is tightened up nicely. That glue will dry. I could put another one in there, but I'm not going to. Because like I said, this is just a temporary little box to take some cards. Well, here's this little box finished. I knew you'd want to see it. This is a little um, label that we put on our cards that we send out. But see how nice that little box turned out? And it was simple to finish and simple to make. Didn't take any time at all. So this is Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps. And I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye-bye.